Well, I think the next step now on this uh, uh, mixer board, since I've kind of proven everything is actually working the way it's intended, is to go after that hum, the hum and the buzz. And in order to do that, I have to gain access to inside what's going on inside. I'm not, this is all turned off. And my sound system on the video you're listening to is just going through in the usual way. So let's take a look at this guy. Here, we'll look with this camera here. Okay, lots and lots of screws on here. Some screws down here. Of course, uh, sister screws up here. This metal plate is bent. You know what? It's bent right around right around. So I'll bet you there's a back plate on this thing. Let's take a look. Let's take a look on this. Oh my gosh, he's got a brother. It's number two. He's got a brother. So, yeah, here's a plate. Screws around the outside. A few in the middle. Screws are black around the outside. They're all there. And these ones look a little different. Let's see if any of them are canned. That means the screwdriver's gone in and and uh, kind of puff, uh, kind of puffed, puffed, kind of popped out and ruined the screw. They don't look canned in the least. Oh, that one does. That one looks like. So I'm trying to judge whether this has ever been opened before. I would imagine the answer is yes, it has been opened before. It's pretty scratched up on the bottom here, right? It's really... It's had a busy life. Okay, I'm not going to make you watch me take out all these screws. I'm just going to use my wonderful power screwdriver and make quick work of this. Last outside screw. Now the company that built this uh, Yorkville sound, which I don't know much about, uh, but I, I'm pretty sure they're focused on music industry and music equipment, including instruments. They must know what they're doing. Ah. Very interesting. Yeah, I was smart enough not to take these screws out without looking in behind first. And, and uh, swing, swing. Can I swing it around? Swing it around like this. Swing it around like this. Swing it, swing it, baby. And that's the reverb unit right there. And inside this is two springs. They're that long. And there's an input and an output. There's a two transducers at either end, one to send the sound, the other one to pick it up. And uh, it's just one, just one spring. It's one channel. It's one, one cable. Wow. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. I've been here before. I have been here before. I just got my initials on it. <laughs> Why am I, I'm having a, a what do you call that, uh, experience, uh, where I've been here before, uh, deja vu. Why do I think I have seen, I've opened something up and seen my initials in it before, just like this? I don't know. Okay, so the good news is, uh, well, there it is. The bad news is, what can I do about anything from here? We're after the hum, so the hum is all about what's down here in the power supply. Um, so that looks very accessible once I get this cover off. But as for all the sliders and uh, all the controls, uh, wow, they are not accessible from down here without, without removing 
something. How would these panels even put in here? Now, this is not plugged in right now. Wow, how do you get access to the top? Hmm, there's all separate boards here. So, uh, JL, 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 but K, K. I wonder if JL is the person's initials who checked this stuff out. Got another initial there. You know, that's evidence of a uh, serious builder, of course. Um, particularly if people's initials are going on stuff. I'm always really impressed at seeing that. This board seems to be bent out just a wee bit. Protruding out this way a little bit. So when it comes to changing that volume control on the front... Uh, yikes. This is one continuous piece of metal all the way around to here. A lot of screws on the top. Let me get rid of this. Let me get pull this off. That's got... Got some markings on it. I'm going to keep this straight. Can you even put this on backwards? Yes, you can, because one's a sender and one's a receiver. And I think by the length of the wires, you only have one choice. I mean, how confused can you get if you want to get it wrong one way and then fix it immediately? So, I'll set this one over here. Fantastic reverb, you know, it looks like it's rubber mounted, stuff like that, to isolate it from the cabinet. Uh, so, now it's about getting this off, and that's just a few screws on the back side here. as I pick the right screws. It's this one and this one. These two here. And they're on to nuts on the back. So I'm guessing this is your standard power supply problem. It's just that there's going to be a filter capacitor in here that's not filtering anymore. Okay, I'll save you the screwing here. Okay, okay. so plate's coming off. supply two capacitors. There's a fuse tucked away under here. That'd be a hassle to change, wouldn't it? And uh, again, nicely built. Looks like I can pull this plug out of here and get it out of the way. on backwards if you're not careful. So I'll be careful. I'll put it like that out of the way. It's a uh, multiple wire plugged in here somehow. I can't see. Maybe that's another whole big plug here. Let's see. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Four screws holding it in place. I certainly have to get this off. Oh, how is this held on? Screws on the back from the outside here. And then that'll pop this power supply off so we can get at these capacitors on the assumption this is causing the hum. On the highly, highly likely assumption. High likely valid assumption. That that's what's doing it. 
Okay, more screws. I'll save you. Okay, I'll save. So I've got it de-screwed. I'm going to be very careful with these uh, flat cables here. I'm pretty sure this is just a plug-in. Just get it off. Just loosen it a bit to get it started. No way I can plug this in backwards. I don't want to flex anything too much. Hey, today's Saturday and tonight. Saturday Night Live is going to play their original Saturday Night Live show, which I never saw. I was in college when Saturday Night Live came on the air, and uh, I didn't know anything about it for the first, I don't know, two, three shows? I don't really know. And all of a sudden my friend said, hey, you got to come see this crazy show. And I got hooked just like everybody, right away. I still enjoy watching Saturday Night Live. Seems to me in the early days every week was a new show. Was a new show. Don't seem to do that anymore, but wow, this is not coming off easy. <laughs> Bigger screwdriver. Something more threatening here. There we go. Okay, so I got the power supply out now. There it is. Probably two voltage regulators. Some diodes here, probably uh, uh, the uh, uh, rectifier. These capacitors are glued in solid to make sure they don't flex and crack their leads and die early. Yeah, I'm sure the people who built this knew what they were doing, there's no question. Now, that's a little curious right there. That's two resistors uh, in parallel. Why, why would they do that? The lower one is 22 ohms and the upper one is 10... I think that's a gold band there. Well, boy, what would that be? The uh, brown, black, gold would be... One. One ohm in parallel with a 22 ohm. Might be a field change or something like that. So again, I really think the only problem is these two capacitors. There's another electrolytic there which I could probably change. I probably have a uh, replacement for it. And everything else should be good to go. I have a hard time getting these off because of the glue. And what are they? They are 2225 volt. Yeah, what are the chances that I got something like that? Who knows? Gotta go look. Yeah, it turns out the chances are good that I've got some replacements. So, here I've got these are 2200, they're the same uh, capacity, 63 volt, that's why they're so much bigger. Lots of space down in here to do something. And these don't have to even be on the board, they can be off the board a little bit somewhere else. There's a 2200 but it's 16 volt, can't use that. And they have these two, uh, 35 volt, so they're better than the 25. 3300, uh, much more capacity, but uh, uh, you know, can you really tell by looking at these if they're good? Well. Sometimes, yeah, they actually pop on the top here. They're no longer flat. Sometimes the bottom pushes out a little bit. Gives you a hint that something's happened to them. Uh, these look pretty good. These would almost fit right in the board. And they're 
much bigger, 3300s. fit right in. They are exactly the right size. Wow, maybe I'm gonna gonna try these. 35 volts, so they're higher voltage and bigger. Bigger can present a bit of a problem here uh, in that uh, in charge up on charge up they draw too much current suddenly through some other components uh, like the diodes here or some resistor or something like those little resistors are a little scary um, you can just burn them out how much difference is there between 22 and 33 this is like 50% bigger I'm going to think about that, and i got to get on with other matters in life now. So I've got lots of time to think before I return to this. So, uh, hey, thanks so much for watching all this so far. hope you're finding this interesting. Uh, for me, I have never looked inside something like this. So it's all lots of fun. And I think I'm on my way to, uh, to a nice fix. See you later.